<laughs> so is a, that's a huge win for the Wolves because what the Wolves did, wanted to do, the reason this was slowing it down, they did not want to give their 2020 first round pick unprotected. Taking full advantage of it is not how you drive, is how you arrive. Mama, there goes that man. Start slowing the game down, trying to milk the clock. Wiggins swats it out of bounds. Murray with a two foul, Smart throws it back, deflected by Thompson. Here's Wiggins, Wiggins down the lane, and the flush. Tatum one-on-one -on -one with Wiggins, gets into the paint, blocked by Wiggins! Another sensational Thompson. Wiggins, nice sidestep and finish. I love when this happens. I absolutely love when this happens. A guy who was being constantly bashed for a lacking passion for basketball. A guy who was labeled a bust. A guy who they kept telling us had the worst contract in all of basketball. Man, how quickly times change. And how quickly people have a change in their opinion to try and cover up some of their absolutely terrible takes on some players. Yeah, I'm talking about you, but let's be totally honest here. How many of you actually are surprised that Andrew Wiggins revitalized his career in Golden State? Can we honestly say that we didn't see this coming? Sure, if you scour the internet and find old takes on Andrew Wiggins, you'll find a whole lot of dudes on Twitter and Reddit that were bashing Wiggins for being a complete waste of talent in Minnesota. The situation Wiggins found himself in was the most perfect situation in the entire NBA when the Warriors picked him up just before the 2020 trade deadline. And I've got to say, Though 2020 was the lowest point the Warriors hit in decades, it was a year that shockingly started a chain of events that would lead the Warriors back to the place where they were so rightfully belonged. The Wiggins move ultimately proved as THE move that would end up relighting the fire under this dynasty. I think back to guys like Harrison Barnes, Andre Iguodala, and though he's way better than them all, even Kevin Durant. They were all great players. Don't get me wrong, KD goes without saying. But it was ultimately the offense, the system, and the pressure that Steph and Clay put on defenses because of their marksmanship that really allowed the other guy on the wing to thrive. And an offense that features primarily Draymond Green running the offense and passing Steph and Clay the ball off screen for three point shots, and in an offense where movement around the perimeter is so prevalent. Valent, it allows a guy like Harrison Barnes, Iguodala, and now Wiggins to roam around freely in a game that doesn't just put pressure on the wing player to do a bit of everything. And that's why the Warriors were a match made in heaven for the still young Andrew Wiggins. This is exactly the kind of offense and team culture that he needed to help them blossom into the player many thought he'd be from day one in the NBA. Instead of being the first or second featured guy like he was in Minnesota for a handful of years, Wiggins being more comfortable getting his own on the offensive end has allowed him to play spirited defense, and defense is the top priority to threes and wings in the Bay. Trying to stay in front of Tatum, battling, battling, Tatum falling away, air ball! It's plays like these that allow Wiggins to play his best game. Since he hasn't asked to carry a load on the offensive end, it allows Wiggins to play a more focused game defensively, which he can because of his length and athleticism. And once he forces opposing stars into a bad shot like how he does here with Tatum, the Warriors can get out in transition, and that is where Wiggins is best offensively. He has always relied more on his explosive bounce and athleticism. It's what fuels him and pushes that button inside of him. These Warriors have always been dominant in transition, and it's why, again, Wiggins fits in so well with the high-octane offense. Offense, and it's what has always made the Steph-led Warriors a terror to guard. It is the same exact role that Andre Iguodala played for the Warriors, play great defense, and make plays in transition. It's what got Andre Iguodala one of the more controversial final MVPs in NBA history. Whether he should have gotten it or not, he got it because he overachieved in his role. That's the same thing Andrew Wiggins has been doing since his arrival in Golden State. And whether he fully capitalized on his pre-draft status as a generational talent or not, you can cannot help but give this man his kudos for bouncing back the way he has. And I can make a convincing argument that Wiggins was the second best player in the NBA Finals. I don't mean the second best player on the Warriors. I mean the second best player in the entire series on both teams. He was that valuable on both ends of the floor. He has provided a new dimension on this team as a premier perimeter defender, which just makes the Warriors that much more dangerous moving forward. I guess the rich get richer even in the NBA.
way. And I want to make one thing 1000% clear. The Warriors would not have won the 2022 NBA championship without the services of Andrew Wiggins. I can go on and on raving about Wiggins and how he's uplifted a new identity for the Warriors team, but it's important I mention that a whole lot of people completely ignored the other part of the Andrew Wiggins trade. The 2021 first round pick that the Minnesota Timberwolves literally gift wrapped and sent to the Warriors. Feeling smart now, Minnesota? In case you may have missed out on that first round pick because of Andrew Wiggins and all of his excellence in the Bay, that pick turned out to be Jonathan Kaminga with the number seven overall pick in the 2021 NBA draft. And while Kaminga hasn't yet developed into a star or even a consistent starter in the NBA, it's the fact that the Warriors gave up next to nothing and got an all-star in return with another potential star in Kaminga. No offense to D'Angelo Russell because I think he's a standout player and one of the clutch performers in the league, but he would have never fit next to Steph and Clay out on the perimeter. Kind of like how Jordan Poole has quickly asserted himself as the third member of the Splash Brothers. And speaking of Poole, he was a gem of an addition on his own that fell into the Warriors' laps in 2019. But as far as Andrew Wiggins and what he's meant for these Warriors, it still shocks me how a guy barely into his mid-20s was dismissed as a waste of talent and someone who's no better than the average starter in the NBA. He has always been talented. He's just now gotten the spotlight for the first time in his NBA career to show the world what he's made of. And Wiggins opened all our eyes during the past two years and particularly this past postseason where he looked like a fringe superstar in the stretches. All I can say is no one saw this man coming. And the Warriors pulled off a golden, underrated trade in 2020, and it's helped earn them another championship.